What's up guys, Justin here from the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, so first of all, I want to apologize for the audio quality. Um, I'm moving pretty soon and all of my audio recording stuff is packed up right now, so I'm just using the mic on my webcam, which isn't very good. But I uh, figured I'd go ahead and put a quick video together today uh, showing how to use SketchUp's um, components and shapes to create a staircase. So I know this is kind of a popular um, subject so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial of that so let's go ahead and get started so uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new uh, SketchUp file and you can go in and delete the default model and then um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle um, to the dimensions that you want so I'm gonna go with three feet wide one foot deep and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close that in so that we have a shape and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the push-pull tool um, to extrude that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that to the height that we want between the treads. So, um, or the height between the risers. So I'm going to go with a 6-inch rise. So that's the height that the, that the step goes up for every step. So let's go ahead and extrude that to 6 inches for now. So go ahead and type in six inches, and there you go. So now you've got your shape right here. The next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to create a component. And uh, basically what components are in SketchUp is shapes that repeat. So anytime you have a component and uh, you make a copy of it, you have more than one of it, and you make a change, um, all of the copies of that component are going to change. So we're going to go ahead and select the step that we created, we're going to right click on it and we're going to click make component. And then we're going to go ahead and call it, you can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it stair tread and click create. And now as you can see when you click on this you can't select the individual faces by, by uh, single clicking. Um, so you can still go in there and edit it by double clicking and then you can come in here and select the different faces and all of that. So now that we have our component, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, SketchUp's multiply function. And uh, what that means is it's something where you create a copy of an object and then you can create multiple different copies of it. So basically you can do this using the move tool. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, type the M key or you can just click on the move tool right here and you're going to click on this corner in the lower left hand side so you're going to single click on that and as you can see when you first click on it it's just going to move this shape around right but if you look at the bottom of the page um, where it says control equals toggle copy what that means is if you hit the control key like this it's going to create another copy of that component or whatever you have selected. So if I type control again that goes away. So typing control lets you copy something while leaving the original in place. So once you've got the copy function going you're gonna go ahead and click on this corner right here. So basically you're taking a copy and you're moving it from here to here. Um, so you're gonna single click up here to do that. After you do that um, because we want to have multiple stair treads, right? Because you've got multiple steps. Um, you're going to type an X and you're going to type the number of times that you would like to copy it or the number of treads that you want. So in this case, I'm going to go with 12. And you can see in the lower right hand corner, um, it says X12. And then I'm going to hit enter. And you can see right here, SketchUp goes ahead and creates 12 different copies of that piece um, all in the same distance in the same distance from your base point so it goes from here it creates a copy to right here and then once I hit the by 12 it just keeps creating the copy to those corners so now that we've done that um, we want to go ahead and come in here and remember these are components so they're all copies of the same thing so what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to double click in one of them you're going to activate the push pull tool and you're going to click once and you're going to make these whatever height you want them to be so you know as you can see since these are all components they all they all move and change at the same time 
So I'm going to go ahead and make those two inches thick. So when I hit the push pull tool, these, those are six inches thick to begin with. So I just want to push these up four inches and hit enter. And that leaves me with all these different stair treads right here. So that's how you can go ahead and use those use this tool to create your stair treads. Now if you want to, um, since these are all components, what you can do is you can come in here and double click in one of them. And again, since you double click in one of them, you're editing inside all of them because they're components. Um, what you can do is you can come in here and you can click once, you can draw a line, and as you can see it draws a line for all of these. So let's go ahead and say that our handrail is going to be four feet tall. So you're going to draw a four foot long line and let's make it three feet. So then what you can do from this line is you can go ahead and draw the line um, to the next uh, the next picket in your rail and it makes kind of a continuous line here and then we're going to draw a little circle at the base we're going to go ahead and select these lines and we're going to use the follow me tool to extrude this circle along those lines so remember the follow me tool what you do is you come in here and you select this line and that's your path and then you click on the follow me icon and then you're going to click on this circle right here and that's going to extrude your circle up along your line so as you can see you've got a nice continuous um, handrail right here so and I'm going to go ahead and select these and reverse the faces just so they're all the same color so to do that you just uh, select the faces right click and click reverse faces and it really doesn't affect anything other than the way that it looks um, generally you want to have the white or the front face facing out on these things and then what we're gonna do just like we did with our stair treads we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select this item we're gonna activate the move tool and we're going to click and drag and we're gonna hit the control key just like we did before and as you can see that's gonna move a copy of your handrail to the other side of your stair so you move it over here and then you click and as you can see that creates a handrail on both sides of your steps so that's a real quick simple way to create stairs in SketchUp there's a lot of other ways you can do it as well but this one is probably the fastest and the easiest so um, I think in a future tutorial I'm probably gonna come in and do like a spiral staircase you can do some more complicated stuff and stuff like that but this is a great start if you're just looking to make a quick stair so hopefully this was helpful to you hopefully you like this video uh, leave a comment below let me know if there's uh, anything you'd like to see from me and um, yeah I appreciate you guys watching don't forget to subscribe for new SketchUp tutorials and we'll go from there thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it